survive again survives using our brains and our you know our heads now this next topic just as we let mr fatuke go um i, I want to speak to him as a father a 12 year old girl was rescued yesterday from in Benue state from the house of a 50 year old man where a family had sent her to to become his third wife now let me tell you the story this girl goes to school a family one day took her out of school and said she was going to um, some towns away because she thought she was going there to continue her schooling upon getting there she landed in the house of a 50 year old man as his third wife she is 12 and she was rescued by the benway chapter of naptib now this is a matter for concern child marriage she wasn't kidnapped she wasn't taken by force her parents sent her there to go marry the man what penalty do you think is appropriate for such parents oh this because you had yes because i had so many that you will never ever hear and in any case what transpired with the 12 year olds that you have had or you've been privileged to hear and we are now being privileged to hear and we are patriotically bringing for so that parents class. who choose to do such can know now that they're going to go to jail always been with us yes and so it therefore means culturally because now become the culture is the people's way of life what they believe in doing their religion their morals their this and that culturally while the better part of humankind are moving in the upward swing we are not just static we are moving and racing backwards yes. everybody knows that the consequence of that mm. is uh, vascular vagina yeah and you need to go to hospitals in the north i schooled in the north and it's something i saw not today not yesterday i am talking about things i saw about 25 30 years ago you need you be sorry you'll be sorry when you see these young girls not just bleeding to their death and over time money is voted to ensuring that things are not done so what then happens because of this out of school children because of lack of again regulation of being um what you call uh, responsible parents so you say something to yourself okay i'm not going to throw this child away i'm going to win this child up to year eight nine ten i will be throw this child to one so upper, i can make money so that i can make money children have now become commodities that some parents sell forever and ever for anybody that cares to listen i say it with utmost pride that we had a man that bestrode nigeria like a colossus at one point in time not today not yesterday he saw something like this was going to happen and what did he do on bare feet he would go to village to village and all that education upon education and people are saying it's because you are, you are with shoes and stuff stuff like that many of us don't have shoes our lover went on his bare feet and went to the heartland of ikiti and the ikiti people using their dialect will tell you that they, oh, Michael, they want to take us into slavery leave us the way we are he persisted and today many years after his death the legacy remains that those places has produced the highest number of professors my point therefore is yes if when i was doing that his mm -hmm. counterparts elsewhere were looking at him either out of whatever it is some feudal way of um, <laughs> of doing their things and if you continue to watch without planting you will not get anything to reap 
on the day of famine. But on the day of famine, now you now want to now then say, which now tells you about the history of Nigeria. Yes, I don't have anything to it. Those that are planted, that may not be enough for, they must spread it across and bring mm -hmm. it to me again. It is most unfortunate. It's surprising. Under normal circumstances, where I know this happens heavily, is in the northern part. Being in Benue, this was Benue, not don't central. Let us deceive ourselves. In areas of relative civilization, in south, south and southeast, even southeast, you get you get a lot of these things uh, going on. Again, I say, let's keep watching one another's back. The, is this not human trafficking? It is in human trafficking. Must you have children if you cannot care for them? And if you have children, the law, I think the law must be very heavy. Right from ostracizing those kind of people. And that is why I am an Egba man, an Egba Kuta man. Okay, we say we started the citadel of civilization. If I am staying wherever it is I am, and I am looking at you, Toby C, you are doing whatever it is. Hey, see you. Ah. Bow. Ah. 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 Ah.